Welcome to English Each Place. We're here with Art Messinas. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Arte Messinas? I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's a f new game, and full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free, and we're going to play it. Hold up. All right, so let's jump in. Uh, I guess we'll do the tutorial. Oh, cool. It's uh, Da Vinci's helicopter. Okay. Welcome. You have been tasked with spreading your family's influence. Before you can do so, you will need to establish Banco Medici. Learn and master the basics of making decisions, trading in the marketplace, and commissioning works of art. Then use that knowledge to build your empire. Level objective. Reach the end of turn 10 to complete your banker's apprenticeship. Dear cousin, my business here is almost concluded. As such, I am about to leave Florence in search of other profitable enterprises throughout Italy, but not before leaving you with some of my banking experience. The life of a banker is filled with messages from other merchants, bankers, and important people which all need your attention. There are probably some messages on your desk right now. You should tend to those. To your health, cousin Vieri. Click the papers on your desk to look at your messages. When you want to close windows, simply click any part of the screen off the sides. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so there's a cool map. I like the map. Ooh, there's a chest. Soul, 15, I, apparently. Reputation. All right, let, let's, let's read some messages. Click accept will accept a message. Click accept to continue. Okay, accepting a message will agree to its terms and will set its conditions in mo motion. Rejecting a message will deny its terms and refuse its conditions if possible. Clicking hold will postpone a message until the next turn. You can click hold now to see this message again later, or you can click accept to resolve it now. Sure. Got it. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm tired for some reason. Uh, dear cousin, as I'm sure you're aware, florins are the currency used here in Florence. As a banker, it would be wise to buy goods from merchants or the market and sell them later for a profit. I have given you 250 florins to get you started. Staying on top of your resources is crucial to your bank's success and will keep you from going bankrupt. The painting in your office is your soul meter and represents your relationship with the church. This relationship is measured on a scale of 1 to 100, which is viewable by hovering your mouse over the painting. Okay, got it? If your soul drops to zero, you'll be excommunicated and lose the game. Is the Medici Crest, the symbol of your family and also your reputation meter. Hovering your mouse over it will reveal your reputation with the people of Florence on a scale of 1 to 100. As your reputation increases... Oops, I shouldn't have clicked off that. Um... Okay, so I don't, I, I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but we're going to do stuff. Clicking the scroll in the middle of your desk will open the map where you can see your relationship with important people, blah, blah, blah. All right. All right. Your relationship with the fact can determine the types of messages you receive from them. Okay. This is an art message. Click accept for an opportunity to choose from three different artworks. You can click on an image to view the art full screen. After accepting, select the image of a statue. Um, I don't, okay, so, correct, read the wording of art messages carefully for clues to the correct choice. Merchant is selling one bale of wool for 20 florins, buy one for 20, check the buy price in the market by clicking the market icon on your ledger or the scales on your desk. Okay, so selling price is 30. How do I... Okay. So he wants to sell one bale of wool for 20. Yes, so that's a good deal. That was a good deal. Buy goods at low prices and sell them at high prices to make a profit. Um, you go bankrupt and lose the game. Fair enough. All right. This is an event message. Event messages contain important events with greater consequences than normal messages. You can only hold an event message for a few turns before you're forced to make a choice. Dear cousin, there may come times when you would like more information on the current state of your affairs. When that happens, you can check the codex on the on your desk to see the amount of each resource you possess and your current goal. You can also check the ledger that appears with your messages for a quick summary. Use this knowledge to your advantage as you build your banking empire. Uh, okay. Cool, clicking the clock on the left side of your desk will open the options menu. Got it. 
Uh, okay, so... Noble's asking for 35 florins to help with the construct. Will you donate to their cause? Sure. Actions that help the city of Florence will increase your reputation and influence with its citizens. Um, right, we don't want to get exiled. The merchant wants to buy one bale of wool for 60 florins. Yeah, if the market offers fewer florins than the merchant, the merchant offer is more profitable. Uh, I guess we accept that one. You made a profit of 30 florins. More than the 30 florins you could have sold the wood, the wool for in the market. Good job. You can also click the, on the number of goods on the market screen to type in a number. Uh, wants to sell two bales of wool for 40 florins. Okay, so we go look. So it's still the same. Yep, that's a good price. Got it. Dear cousin, alas, the time has come for me to leave Florence and for you to start uh, to be on your own. Stay on this path and you will be able to start your own bank in no time. With my teachings and your shrewd business sense, I know you will do great things for Florence. Great. Um, you must stay in business until the end of turn 10. Okay, so we can look at the map. Uh, right, that's the Merchant of the Wool Guild, I guess. Oh, we already did, we already did that one. Okay, let's... Remember the look is asking for 30 florins to go towards building. Will I donate? Sure. Plus two reputation, plus two soul. Two bales of wool. Uh, yeah. So, oh, for, tw for 25 each? Uh, reject. You were right to pass on such poor bargains. You would have sold the wool for five florins less than what you could have gotten in the market. With a promise to pay you back the exact amount you borrowed. Will you loan him the money? Sure. Since you will be paid back exactly what you are not engaging in usury and your soul is not in peril. Because <laughs> that's a sin! Your friend has fulfilled their promise and has paid you back the 35 florins you were owed. Excellent. So it's just about reading messages, I guess. Wants to buy three bales of wool for 132. Um... Okay, so this is a better deal. Does already sell four bales of wool? Yes, we'll accept that one. Okay, so we've got six bales of wool. We'll sell them there. And then he wants to... Okay, there you go. I made some... I made some more money, good. All right, so that was a turn. So we're just we're doing more turns. Wants to buy four bales of wool for one eighty. Sure. Oh, actually, let's see what else there is. Wants to sell five bales of wool for one forty. Um. There you go. This is an example of usury, loaning money at interest, which goes rejects. Uh, avoiding usury will positively affect your relationship with the church, increasing your soul meter. Got it. That was a good sale. All right, so I'm doing I'm doing good sales. I'm doing I'm doing stuff. You donate forty five florins to the poor. Sure. Not all rewards are monetary. Is buying seven bales of wool. Uh, what's the Oof, for forty. Uh, reject. Yeah. But we can probably, so we can buy them for 35 and sell them for 41. So that's still, we can still make some money there. There we go. We made some money and we still have one wool. So we're, we're just buying and selling wool at the moment. I guess that's fine. Um, yes, we'll accept that. Uh, uh, four bills for 30 florins each. Yeah. So we're just selling, buying and selling wool here. We're making some profit though. Struggling merchant asked to borrow 50 florins with the promise to repay you 50, 75. That is more money than before. Merchant is selling four bales of wool. So that's a good price. We'll accept that price. We'll like to buy it. Uh, yeah. Nice, and we'll reject this one. We'll build our soul up. This is the last turn. If you don't have the resources necessary to complete a level's objective, you can always go back and replay previous levels to increase them. What was what was the level's objective? 
Where do we see that? No. Okay. Objective. Reach the end of tur end turn 10. Right. I don't, I don't know what the secret wealth thing is, but that's okay. Church wants to buy four bales of wool. Right. Um, it's looking to... Well, there we go. We'll do that. 41 each. How many bells of wool was it? It was four, so we just need three. One, two, three. And then we make some profit. Establish Banco Medici, so you can begin developing your banking. Uh, continue. Let's keep going. So far, I like it. It is 1397. You are a member of the Medici family and have just opened your first bank in Florence. You aspire to spread your family's influence, not just in Florence, but throughout Italy. To do so, you will need to strengthen the bank's position through buying and selling goods and avoiding bankruptcy. Bear in mind, though, that money is not the only currency. Your rise to power hinges on successfully managing your money, your influence, and your relationships. Possess at least 40 reputation by the end of turn 24. Right. Commission artworks. Right, but receive a monopoly on alum, on alum from the Pope and end the level with it to become the Papal Bank. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do that. Right, Venice will buy four barrels of alum for 200 florins. We'll sell alum at 150 florins for four barrels. And we'll buy that. And the monks have asked... You for help, Paolo Di Dono, the painter they hired, has run away from his job painting the lives of the church fathers. He refuses to come back and hides or runs when he sees a monk. For Will you send men to find him? Sure. Um, and then alum. So we can sell it for 50. I mean, yeah, we'll sell it, I guess. Build some uh, relationships there. All right, so for 10 bales of wool. So it's buy 10 bales of wool, right. Uh, sure, sure. Would the Guild of Silk Manufacturers and Goldsmiths in Florence would like you to commission a new orphanage? Sure. Yep. Alright, so let's have a look at the market. Neighboring wool merchant, Davizi, has fallen on hard times. He asked for 100 florins with a promise to repay 150 florins soon. Will you give him the loan? Yes. But I'll lose his soul for that. The church has heard of this deal, and since it is a clear example of usury, loaning money, interest, they have denounced you and Davizi. Right. The church offers alum, a chemical used in dyeing wool, at 240 florins for six barrels. That? 240 florins for 40 each. Oh, that is a good price. But we are running low on money. Has fled the monastery because the abbot of San Mantino has fed him nothing but cheese pies and cheese soup. I'm afraid I won't long, won't any longer be Paolo, but cheese, he exclaims. Will you risk offense by informing the abbot of the reason? Yeah. When you tell the abbot of Paolo's plight, the monk laughs uproariously and promises Paolo that cheese will trouble him no more. Right. I mean, let's buy that. Prices like these amount to charity to the church. Your, your reputation for piety impresses all your peers in Florence. Okay. A man of his word repays you 150 Florins. He's glad there are other merchants around with loose morals. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we're pretty low on, on the old cash, but that's okay. We'll buy alum used to dye cloth at four barrels. Oh, that's really, really bad. Absolutely not. Um, Florence is holding a contest to determine who will decorate the east doors of the baptistry. Um, we'll hold that one, I guess. Derides Donateo's uh, wooden crucifix as a plowman on a cross. Uh, I don't know. Reject? 
accepts the challenge to craft a crucifix which now adorns the Church of Santa Maria Novella. Stunned by the result, Don Taylor exclaims that the work is a miracle. Okay. Dear cousin, although my own bank has been successful, Banco Medici is on the lips of the Pope. Grow your esteem with Florence and the clergy, and if you make the right decisions, you can become the papal bank and hold the church's substantial funds. I've sent you a gift so that our name and works may prosper. Oh, I got some money. He sent me some He sent me some cash. That's good. Right, so we're we're making sort of friends with people. Okay. Holding contest to determine who will decorate the east doors of the baptistry we support. Oh, right. Um. Sure. Right. I didn't. I didn't know. I should have paid better attention. Oh well. Paolo Di Dono needs to acquire etchings and engravings by other artists. So one of the things is I wasn't sure which one I was supposed to be doing, but that's okay. Will you contribute to help him? Sure. We'll get that reputation up. Mines sell Elm to... At, oof. That's really bad, but I guess we'll take it. Yeah, that was uh, expensive there. Balance 360, right. Man, the wool guild just is killing me at the moment. To buy six bales of wool. Yeah, that's better. Um, oh, God. Fine. The scene with Divizi is evaporating. Yeah, I mean, they're... They're giving me bad deals. The church mines have suffered a recent setback and need immediate as a foremost patron. Will you send the church 300 florins? Sure. The church is pleased with your continued loyalty and patronage. Venice offers to sell three bales of... I don't know what my reputation is at the moment. Uh, three bales of wool for 40 each. Ugh. Reject that one. Yeah, really bad. Except. So I'm supposed to be helping him show, depict fauna. Right, so this is a tet. This is like a quiz here. Um, okay. I don't know why these take so long to load. It's weird. Okay, so there's some fauna. Does this one have any fauna in it? Okay, it must be this one then. A grand hunt is the perfect subject for showing skills at depicting animals. Plus four reputation. Your dear friend who may soon be Pope. Uh, sure. Pope and takes the name Pope Giovanni 150 florins. Right. Archbishop Antonius is pleased with your patronage with the church and trusts you with a thousand florins in his secret account. Secret wealth can be used as capital for your business, but only when your balance drops to zero. Then any money you make must fill your secret ledger before you can bend. Okay. So I'm uh, looking after some secret money, but we're, we're actually doing fine on regular money. Three bales of wool. Yeah, fine. We'll sell them that. <laughs> um, but you could have done better even for if you can... You will lose standing with the community. Oh, right. For 13 bales of wool. Oh, well, let's, uh... Buy some wool. I mean, because that, that's a good deal right there. Oh, what? Ugh. All right. We'll buy some more wool. All should prosper somewhat from the steel. Nice. Um, and we'll buy some alum. Oh, but we lose soul, but we gain reputation. The risk you're seen with the clergy by competing with the church mines. I see. I see. So there's, like, hidden costs to the things that I'm doing. I'd like to offer you a deal. If you loan them 200 florins now, they will pay you 600 florins after a short time. However, they need this money quick. Oh. Sure. Um, clearly engage in usury. Okay, they don't like that. Offers to sell wool at 110 florins for three bales. Uh, sure. I have 
contrapposto would really bring San Marco to life. Will you choose which of these sculptures would be appropriate for the facade? Okay, of contrapposto. Uh, I don't know what contrapposto is. I feel like I need to go look it up. Maybe I would. Oh. I mean, it said it was in the Codex. Man, I wish I knew more about, like, Renaissance art. Contrapposto. I don't know. That My gut tells me these ones. Yeah, I mean, I just... I don't know what Contrapposto is. And it wouldn't let me click off to go to go look at it. All right. Oh, I see. It wouldn't have helped anyway. Um, I'd like to buy wool if you can take... Oof, that's really bad. Sorry, buddy. Before you can conduct lucrative international business, you'll need to develop strong relationships with regional partners like Venice or Milan, as well as international business alliances. I've sent you a gift so that our name and works may prosper. Oh, they sent me some more money. Love it. So, Divizi doesn't like me at the moment, but Venice and Milan are middling. And who's this? The church mines really like me, and the Ottoman Empire really likes me. Fair enough. Venice offers to sell wool. Ugh. Fine. Yeah. Someone repaired my relationship with Venice. Yeah, that's a good deal. Nice. Ask for funds to support a war against Naples. Will you send a gift of 100 florins? Yep. Nice. So what's my 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 goal is to status of forty. I, I need forty reputation. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Pope is pleased with your allegiance to the church. Uh, Mines is considering giving you a monopoly on domestic alum. However, to cease buying alum from the Ottoman Turks. Do you accept? Uh. Sure. Pope is pleased with your compliance. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. I just returned from an exotic land to the east and is quietly offering some rare Chinese porcelain. Yeah, I'll buy the porcelain. I mean, that's a good price as well. Sorry. I'm just losing reputation here. Ugh. Okay, is willing to forgive your recent transgressions and is asking for a loan of four. He promises to pay you back 500. I'm just, I'm, my reputation is just going in the, in the crapper. Um. Uh, yes. So I just lost a bunch of reputation as well. Instead of Tondi from Donatello to complete the old sacristy, will you choose the, the, a set of Tondi. I don't I don't know what Tondi is. Okay. Sure. That one. Or painting and there are no Tondi in here. I just there's no way for me to know. I don't know enough about art. You're given to see trading with the auto the Pope is displeased by your lack of loyalty to the church. I didn't trade with them! Okay, let's go look at the description because I'm now very frustrated because I didn't do any trading with them. They owed me money. They gave me the money back. I didn't I didn't buy anything from them that turn. Okay, that's really, really, really frustrating. Let's go look at the description. All right, Art uh, Messinas. Command history as head of the Medici. Become the patron of the such luminaries as Da Vinci and Michelangelo by using your wits to build your banking empire, establish your reputation, and commission artworks. But beware, your choices have consequences. Will you prosper or perish? Currently has mixed reviews and came out in 2016. Right. Um, 
I didn't realize it was it had been out for six years, but that's okay. Um, Turn-based games usually don't hold my attention for very long, but I was glued to this game for a few hours. I just all night binged on an educational game. What is happening? I'll tell you what is happening. Art. Um, art is a rather neat distillation of profit-seeking that cuts out just about everything besides cutting deals. You're a representative of the Medici, one of history's most famous trading houses, and your job is simple. Make that sweet cash. Uh, classroom edition. Student or looking to purchase the classroom version of Art Messinas? Click the visit the website on the right. So the classroom version. Okay, that's cool. Um, enter the Italian Renaissance and shape history as the head of the Medici family. Follow in the footsteps of history as head of the Medici family. To prosper, you must balance your banking empire with smart political strategy. Prove yourself a true patron of the arts and take risks as you commission and support works from upstarts such as Bruno Lesci, Donatello, and Raphael. Be wary of your relationships with powerful city-states, merchant factions, and the Pope as you navigate the treacherous political landscape of the Italian Renaissance. Succeed and your family will become one of the most powerful in all Europe. Fail and history will be changed forever. Art Messinas is a turn-based strategy game where your decisions leverage historical circumstances, conditions, and events surrounding the Italian Renaissance. You will experience the impact of political maneuvering, economics, and the Catholic Church on the creation of revolutionary artworks. Featuring the most influential artworks of the 15th and 16th centuries, the game presents over 130 pieces of art by more than 70 artists, including many of the most celebrated in history. Uh, art Messinas on Steam is intended for entertainment purposes only. The Steam edition does not contain access to the Triceum Instructor or student web portals and cannot be used for credit in a classroom. Okay, so it's supposed to be for teaching. So I guess the reason why I was lost and the reason I couldn't, I didn't know what the different artworks were is that I'm not experiencing the game as a class. I'm just uh, experiencing it, you know, just, it feels very random. And then uh, the Pope withdrawing my um, monopoly on alum after I deliberately rejected a bunch of uh, Ottoman Turk deals seemed really stupid. I, I, you know, like if if they re if they said, "Oh, um, we're taking this back because of your usury," then that's fine. But like that's not what it said. It said it was because I had broken my promise. To not buy their alum, so I'm like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. That's what made me stop playing because the game uh, had stopped. Like me not knowing art, I was being punished for, and that was fine. And I did learn some stuff by being punished. Me being punished for following the thing that I was supposed to follow, and then it, the game not doing it right, that's a problem. So. Follow on the foot. Oh, we already read all that. Uh, let's go down and look at the reviews. So, trying to balance your moral compass between profit and religious enlightenment during the Renaissance. Strange to see how quick you grow greedy and curse the poor. Educational and enjoyable. Can't quite believe I just paid 15 bucks for this. I expected a lot more gain for my money. There's a fixed number of turns per level and three choices to make per turn. And ultimately, one path through history you can take. And when, you, when you've done that, it's done. I get that it's an early access, but there needs to be a lot more content before the game is even is worth even the discounted price i like the basic premise i think trading aspect needs improving um not enough things to do not enough ways to influence the progress of the game the foreign branches make money then they lose money and you close them and that's what happens right you occasionally have to decide whether the price from merchant in a pop-up is higher than the one on the market which stays the same without changing the whole game um and two of the three commodities have the same prices <laughs> uh yeah since the marketing for this game is somewhat dual-pronged, I'll summarize. It's not a great strategy game with a ton of interesting decisions. It is, however, a solid edgy game, good enough to keep me playing while knowledge is dispensed. Yeah, so I guess the idea is that I'm supposed to know which Pope ends up winning, and I can just, uh, using my knowledge of Ita the Italian Renaissance, which I don't have, um, I can make the correct decision. So that's one of the gripes that people are bringing up. Not a $20 game. It's done in a couple of hours without much in the way of choices aside from follow history religiously. Um, I have a degree in art history and I love economy. On digital paper, this game was made for me. However, the gameplay is repetitive, alternating between Renaissance art trivia and educated guesses and a simplistic buy low, sell high economic mechanism. The tutorial was fair enough, but after playing the first mission, I'm unlikely to again submit myself to this tedium. Relatively simple turn uh, playing. The art is real. The factions are real. Pleasant, casual game. 
Original concept, but after 30 minutes you'll always see the same messages. Plus the reputation point system is very unclear. Yeah, um, I mean that's basically what I ran into. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much, I agree with the negative feedback I and I agree with the positive feedback. As an edgy game, it definitely works. If I knew more about what happened during the Italian Renaissance, I would probably uh, have been able to make the correct decisions because it seems like making the wrong decisions, like not exactly following history is how you fail. You know, it's not a, you get to decide how things happen. It's, did you succeed like they did in her history or did you fail like they didn't in history? And that's it. Um, let's look at Trisium. So there's a demo and there's this game and that's it. I do like their design and everything and it, like the game is pretty cool. The game is pretty cool. Like I like the idea of it, um, but there is something missing in the execution. Now it is six years on and I guess it used to be in early access. So it's probably not being updated anymore, um, which I guess is it's interesting that uh, because I, I did receive this copy of the game for free. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, if they're trying to push this because they've got another one coming or something, but I guess that's, that's where we are. So I, th I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, my, my final ver verdict is probably going to be a thumbs up, but it would be like a thumbs sideways kind of up. I don't know. It's, it's a cool idea. And I like the, uh, I like, you know, definitely feels like one more turn, one more turn. And that feels really fun, but it's also there's problems with it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, check out Art Messinas by clicking on the link in the description. You can download a demo and play it yourself. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.